So tonight is our Havara Shabbat. So you have Mike Benish is going to come up in a moment, not yet, and speak. And I know that means I'm not supposed to speak, but he said he was only speaking for a little bit. So I thought I'd squeeze in just a little bit, if that's okay with you guys. I had a song going through my head today when I was thinking about Havara Shabbat coming up. Tell me if you know it. If you're ever in a jam, here I am. If you're ever in a mess, SOS. How about this one? If you're ever down a well, ring my bell. If you're ever up a tree, call on me. Because it's friendship. Friendship. Just a perfect blendship. When other friendships have been forgot, Ours will still be hot. That's right. Now I want to go la da 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 da, but that doesn't matter. Cole Porter summed up the essence of true friendship in this timeless song, reminding us that friends make sure you're taken care of. It's a reminder that to be a friend is not simply to give someone else's photo a virtual thumbs up, but rather being a friend means to be a part of an authentic, honest, and trusting relationship. Our lives have meaning and purpose because of our experiences with our friends and our community, which is why it is quality, not quantity, that actually counts when you're counting friends. In Judaism, true friendships are supposed to enrich our souls, to expand our understandings and broaden our perspectives. Friends support us and challenge us. They comfort us when we're down and agitate us if we'd become too complacent. Like Eve was created to be for Adam, we strive to be an Ezer Konegdo, a siren going off in the middle of a silent service to get our attention, a, a helpmate, a challenger. It's okay, I was trying to make it work. But an Ezer Konegdo is one who lifts up the other, who supports, holds, and champions, who compliments the other's personality and also one who challenges, who forces a force to unleash the other's hidden potential. All of these roles are so very important. This is why we are taught it's not good to be alone. And this is also why our tradition notably declares, I have learned much from my rabbis, but more from my friends than my rabbis. This rabbi is okay with that. More than okay with it, I love it. Friendship is important, and so many people here in Sarasota tell me that the friends they've made become like family to them. But while some of us are blessed to feel surrounded and supported by good friends, others of us come to this service feeling quite alone and friendless. While most of us have had both experiences at various points in our lives, we still sometimes find it hard to spot when another person is in need of connection. So tonight, I bring this up because I have two quick points to make before turning the mic over to Mike. The first is that our Havara program strives to create opportunities for meaningful and authentic friendships. So tonight, on this Havara Shabbat, I encourage everyone to consider participating. But because Mike's going to speak more about that in just a minute, I'm going to pause it and jump to my second point which is a sincere offer of friendship. If any of you find yourselves alone and friendless, please, please reach out. I am here for you. If you imagine yourself in a police holding cell and you're allowed one phone call, <laughs> call me, I'll bail you out. <laughs> but the truth is, my offer for friendship goes beyond putting up bail. Because really, a good friend isn't the one you call. They're the one sitting next to you in the cell because there was no way they'd let you get in trouble on your own. <laughs> Reach out and I will be there for you. I will be there next to you. If you find you need someone, let me be that someone. And while I'd prefer not to end up in jail, I don't really worry about that either because if somehow we find that both of us are stuck in a cell side by side, I know Hazan will find a way to bail us out. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom.